Hi everyone. So today I will be finishing the topic called inequality. Okay. Inequalities, and we will also uh, cover the quadratic equations from the basic thing, right? Quadratic equation, and also we will talk about functions. Okay, some important functions, right? Like greatest integer function and all. This is from the basic thing, okay, which you can expect in aptitude, right? Already you might have covered these topics in calculus, okay? So last time I have told you many things related to uh, uh, inequality. So le let us uh, recap a bit, okay? So I'm just going to recap some things very important. So, <clears throat> okay? So you see here, as I told you that a uh, couple of things you have to remember, you know, while solving the inequality, right? Suppose you have been given like this kind of inequality, okay? And uh, this kind of inequality, right? That is 2y x is less than 1, right? So as I said that you do, you can't multiply, you know? You can't uh, cross multiply until you know the sign of this x square, okay? So this kind of mistake you have to avoid, okay? So in this case, in this case you can multiply, you can cross multiply, so you can write this as x squared, okay, this, like this, and you can also write this as mod of x, right? But in this case, you can't multiply, okay? In this case, you can't multiply because you don't know the, you don't know the sign of the x, okay? That you have to always keep in mind. This is very basic thing, okay? So I will be taking first, uh, like I have already taken, I guess. So I will take the very first kind of inequality, right? That is linear inequality, okay? In linear inequality so the very first example is the question number one you can say is 3x minus 14 is greater than 22 okay so you can find uh, you can solve this inequality I believe you can solve okay so there are various methods you know so what you can do here is you can add uh, you know both sides uh, plus 14 right so that uh, yeah so here I'm adding 14 here I'm adding 14 so it means that you are taking this minus 14 this side or you can just add okay so this is going to be getting cancelled okay so this is 3x yes <clears throat> okay so 3x okay uh, is equal to what that is going to be 36 right now you can divide 3 okay so both sides you can divide 3 so i'm just dividing with the positive number positive 3 so it is going to be uh, you know x is greater than 12 right so you can write this in in terms of interval right so how can you write this you know you can write this as x is the element of or you can say x belongs to open bracket will be because this is the uh, strict inequality right it is not the slack inequality as i said that there are different kind of inequality right so you have to use open bracket and uh, for infinity, we always use open bracket, right? So this is uh, how we can represent, and you can also use the number line, right? So uh, you can mark here that is 12, and put here the uh, you know empty circle, and you can say that this is going to be the representation. Okay, I believe this is fine for everyone, right? So let me go ahead and uh, take other examples. Okay, so question number two uh, is like 16 minus 5x okay is greater greater than or equal to 21 so you can solve this okay this is also the linear inequality because the degree of the x here is 1 right so what you can do here is uh, you can solve this you can take this 16 this side right so it becomes 5x okay you try guys you can also tell me the answer 21 minus 16 okay so it becomes uh, minus 5x okay uh, okay minus 5x and then what will happen here is that this is basically if you subtract so it becomes 5 okay now you can divide minus 5 both the sides so minus 5 both the side if you are dividing so this inequality will change it okay so it will be like this then you can say that it is going to be x less than minus 1 
less than or equal to minus one. Okay. I believe this is fine for everyone. Okay. So how can you represent this? You can represent this as x is the element of minus infinity, then minus one, and there will be a closed bracket. Okay. So this is the mixed uh, inequality. You can say. Okay. Yes. 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 Gagan. Yeah. Perfect. ठीक है so please keep in mind this and you can also represent on a number line so you can say this is minus 1 and uh, then this is going to be the solid circle you can put right this is how we can represent here yeah. okay next let's talk about uh, solve the inequality question number 3 solve the inequality Now the difficulty level will be increased, right? X by four is less than five x minus two by three minus seven x minus three by five. So can somebody help me to solve this inequality? So what you can do here is x by four. Okay, you can take the uh, LCM here. Okay, so if you take the LCM here, so it becomes fifteen. Okay, then it is going to be twenty-five x minus. 10 minus 21x plus 9. Okay. I believe this is fine for everyone. Then uh, what you can do here is you can cross multiply. Okay, because there is no. Uh, okay, so you can just multiply these the constants. So it becomes 15x. Okay, and then four times of. Okay, so. So if you solve this further, so it is four times of twenty-five uh, minus twenty-one, that is four x, right? And uh, minus ten plus one, that is minus one, right? Okay. So this becomes what fifteen x, and this is sixteen x minus four, okay. and then it will be fifteen x minus sixteen x, okay. Where people make mistake, I'm just going to tell. Okay, so you see here, uh, this becomes what this is minus x and minus four, right? Now you will make uh, this coefficient of x as one, right? So you will just multiply or divide by minus one, right? So what will happen then? The inequality sign will change. Okay, so inequality will be changing here. So you can say this becomes x greater than four, right? Yeah, x greater than four. Perfect, guys. Yeah. So you can write this in uh, x is the element of four, and always keep in mind we put uh, the uh, open bracket for infinite. Okay. Never put close bracket. Okay. Sometimes in the question also uh, you might find. Okay. So let me take one more question here for the practice sake, right? So suppose uh, you have been given one by two, three uh, x. By five plus four, and greater than or equal to one by three x minus six. Okay, so try to solve this. Okay, try to solve this question. I believe anyone can solve this kind of a question. Okay. Hmm. So what you can do here is, you can just uh, take three this side. Okay, this three this side. Okay, and two that side. Okay. So this becomes three times of three x plus four plus four. Okay, sorry, this is five. And this will be two times of x minus six. Okay. So now you can multiply inside this three. So nine x by five plus twelve and two x minus twelve. Right. Okay. So this becomes. You can take this 2x this side, 9x by 5 minus 2x minus 12 minus 12 this side, right? Now you can solve this further. I believe many of you might have got the answer here. Yes? Chalo. So what will happen here is that uh, this becomes 9x minus uh, this is 10x, okay, by 5, and this is minus 24. So this is minus x by five and minus twenty four, right? 
ओके नाउ वॉट यू कैन डू हियर इज यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई माइनस फाइव और फाइव वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट इफ यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग पॉजिटिव नंबर नथिंग इज गोन हैपन राइट नथिंग विल हैपन So what you can do here is just multiply five here, so it will become you know minus x only, 24 into 5, right? So this is minus x greater than minus 24 into 5. Okay. Now you can multiply minus one. Okay. So I believe many of you might have got the answer. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Carl, to be perfect. So you can say that it becomes x 120. Okay, x less than or equal to 120. so these things are not covered in fact in uh, any uh, you know that's why i am telling all these things right and we are away from this right so minus infinity and minus 120 okay this is the interval which you will find okay and few things i have told you that uh, sign of inequality changes on multiplying or div dividing by negative number and never cross multiply a variable quantity and cross multiply variable quantity only when the sign of the number is known right that that you should know so now we will talk about polynomial inequality okay now what we are going to talk about is polynomial inequality so write down the heading polynomial inequality okay where the degree is going to be 2 3 4 5 6 like this okay degree will be uh, okay so here we will talk about degree 2 okay 3 and so on right Because linear inequality means what? Where the degree is one. Okay. If if they have asked like this, solve. Okay. Solve uh, x square minus three x is less than zero. Right. Here the degree is one. Degree is two. Okay. So we can solve this. So how can we solve this, guys? We can solve this by factor. Uh, okay. We can factorize this. Okay. So what we can do here is we need to factorize this. Okay. I think it is very simple. and you can factorize easily right sometimes people solve uh, you know by uh, by uh, hidden trial method right so don't do that just to factorize this so x you can take common so x minus 3 is less than 0 and you know that overall uh, overall expression will be negative right overall expression should be overall polynomial should be negative right that those number you have to choose where the Overall expression is negative, right? Okay, that you have to understand. Those value of x we have to choose. So what we can do here is, uh, we can draw the number line here. Yeah. This is the number line. Okay. In order to solve this kind of a situation, first what you have to do, first step is factorize. Okay. First step is factorize. Then you have to draw the number line and put all these. Uh, You know, all these x equal to zero is there. Okay, so you can say x equal to zero, x equal to three is there, right? So this is region one. You can say this is region two, and this is region three. Right? So you have to decide if you are going to put uh, uh, value x value greater than what? Greater than three, right? So this this quantity will be what? This quantity will be positive, and this will be also positive only, right? Okay. And if you are going to put the x value less than three or between zero and three, right? So what will happen? Your overall function is going to be negative, okay? And that's what we want. Yes, I believe this is fine for everyone. Okay, yeah. So this is uh, from minus infinity to infinity. I will tell you one technique. That technique is very very important. But for the matter of understanding, uh, you know, just apply your mind. Okay. So I believe Gagan, uh, somebody's yeah. So you see here. So here, you, if you put, you know, if x is greater than minus three, means uh, this is going to be positive, and entire expression is positive, and that inequality is wrong, right? So what we can do here is, what we can say that if x equal to zero, right? So this will become what? This is uh, basically zero only, right? So what we can say, my x should X should lie between zero and three. X should lie between zero and three. Okay. So this is just by heat and trial method. But I will discuss one of the very important concept that is known as V-V curve 
method okay how many of you familiar with baby curve method how many of you uh, are familiar with baby curve method right so here you can say x belongs to 0 and 3 right if the value of x will lie between 0 and 3 okay 0 is not included 3 is not included okay so this inequality will be satisfied okay so this is the answer for this question okay yes yeah so 0 and 3 is going to be the correct answer okay i believe this is fine for everyone so in order to solve polynomial inequality you have to use what baby curve method okay remember so as i ask to you that how many of you knows this method please raise your i mean just write in the public baby uh, Okay, this is way B. Okay, the method. Okay, for solving inequality. Okay, what kind of inequality? Just like uh, you know, where the factorization is. Okay, so the very first step, what you have to do is the you have to factorize the expression into linear factors. Okay. So the very first is what factorize the expression into linear factors. Okay. Then second important is what? Second important step is you have to make the coefficient of x as one. Right? Make the suppose the the coefficient of x is five here, so you have to divide by five. Okay, to make it one. Okay. So make coefficient okay co coefficient of x as one right this is second step and the third step is we have to plot okay we have to plot the roots okay on number line okay and third fourth step is what we have to mark the dot and circle okay mark dot and circle so these are the steps which we we will follow okay acha okay. and the, then fifth step is going to be what put the sign okay put the sign so we will follow something okay how we are going to put the sign and then sixth is going to be the take the required interval okay take the required interval so how we are going to put the sign okay so putting the sign means what if power is going to be even right so sign will remain same okay that we have to take care okay so for even power sign will remain same right will remain same we will understand one by one right and for odd power of x okay sign will change okay Sign will change. So these are the steps. Please keep in mind. Okay, these are the five to six steps, and it looks big, but the question, whenever we solve the question, it will become very easy. Okay, चलो एक question करते हैं. So please note down this, guys. Please note down and let me know once you are noted. Okay, you have noted. I mean, guys, you can make the correction here, right? uh okay that to be as suggested so yeah this is correct okay uh i believe you guys have noted down so let me take the problem here solve the inequality okay solve the inequality uh what kind of inequalities are there x x minus 2 okay x minus 3 greater than equal to 0 So guys, uh, this expression is given. The very first step is what? The very first step is factorize. So already it is in factor form. Yeah, uh, already it is factorized. So step one is clear, right? You don't have to do anything. So step number one is what? Factorize. Right? So factorize already in factorization form it is given. So x minus two and x minus three greater than zero. Next step is what? Next step is make coefficient uh, x equal to one. 
I believe all the coefficient, uh, ha all the x has one coefficient only, right? That is also clear. Step number two is also okay, right? So you don't have to worry about step number two. Now you have to draw the number line. Okay, so just draw the number line minus infinity to infinity, and then what you put? You put all these roots. Okay, so you put here zero. There is a two. Okay, and uh, please take this as plus. Okay, plus three, right? and this is plus only. So this is minus three here. Okay, so this is basically x x minus two x plus three greater than or equal to zero, right? Okay. So I believe this is fine for everyone. So what you can do here is this is minus three, this is zero, and this is two. These are the roots. Now we have to put circle or dot, right? So depending upon this inequality, here the slack inequality is given. So you can put the what? You can put dot. Okay. Can you put dot? Okay. Okay. Next, what will happen? You have to put the sign now. So what you have to do here is you have to start with positive always from the left hand side. You have to start with positive. Okay. Now you see the power of for this root the power of x. The root two belongs to x minus two, right? The power of x is odd, right? So here the sign will change. So it is minus. Okay. It is going to be minus. Okay. For even, it is same. For odd, it is change. This concept you have to keep in mind. Okay. I believe this is fine for you. Yes. Oh, three uh, zero. Okay, okay. Let me check. Let me check. Karthik is out. Yeah. So I'm just going to solve. Wait. So this is plus and this is minus. Okay. Then you have to check. Uh, yeah. So again the sign will change because uh, you know you see x has the power odd, right? So this will be plus. And again this will be having you know minus. Right? So now the sign has been changed, right? Now this entire expression is what, guys? Entire expression should be positive. Okay, you have to choose the value of x. You have to choose the value of x so that entire expression should be positive. So don't consider this expression. Okay, <coughs> don't consider here because between zero and two, this expression is going to be negative. That is wrong. I believe this is fine for everyone. Yes. So we have to consider this. Okay, and we have to consider this. Okay, this is fine. I believe this is fine. So, and that too there is a dot. So we have to take minus three and zero inside the closed interval. Okay, and then we have to also we have to take this also. That is union, right? So this is two, and this is open bracket. Okay, this is going to be the answer for this question. Yes. Don't take this also okay don't take this and don't take this okay so this become very easy asis can you explain sign part once again sure asis yes asis you what you have to do here is you have to start with positive okay let me take here you have to start with positive okay so we have minus 3 we have 0 and we have 2 okay and there are dots okay So you have to start with positive from the left side, okay? Always. Then you have to go to sorry, from this side, okay? From the you can say, and then you have to go towards uh, this side, okay? Towards the minus infinity. You have to start with positive, okay? Infinite. That is positive here, okay? Now you check uh, this two belongs to which root? Which expression? X minus two, right? And here the degree of X is one, right? That is odd. One, three, five. These are odd powers, right? So what will happen? This positive sign will change here, right? And again, zero. You see, x equal to zero is there, right? The, it has power one, right? It has power one. It has power one. It has power one. Means all are, you know, all are uh, odd only. So this will be changing here, and this will be changing here. Asis, have you understood this now? ठीक है पावर को देख के आपको हाँ तो नाउ यू कैन डायरेक्टली रिजेक्ट दीज इंटरवल्स राइट इसको रिजेक्ट कर सकते हो जस्ट रिजेक्ट इट व्हाई वी आर रिजेक्टिंग इट बिकॉज यू सी दिस इन इक्वालिटी राइट 
the entire expression should be positive right okay so you can directly you know forget about this negative region okay the value uh, range of values of x in this okay so only consider this and consider this but these two interval we have to consider so there should be the union sign right so minus 3 and 0 will be in closed interval union of uh, this is two included and infinity is not included right so you can say that this is the x okay how many of you understood completely and confidently you can answer the question yes Uh, sir, the sine of two infinity. How did you take that? Uh, sine of two. Take one. Yes, yes, yes. Here. See, what I am doing here is why I am putting plus here because I want. Okay, this this is this expression should be positive, right? So we are starting with plus. Okay. Now we are seeing this is the root of. This expression x minus two, right? X minus two. So the the degree of this x is odd, right? You see, x power is one, right? So we are putting, we are doing what? The sign change. If it is positive, so this should be negative. Okay. Understood. Okay, so we you understood this or not? If you have still any doubt, let me know, guys. Yeah. Just you are learning for the first time, so you might get a uh, little, uh, you know, might feel that oh, it is new. But yeah, let me take one more question, guys. So you will understand. So suppose we have got x x minus four to the square and x plus six cube x. Minus one. Okay, you have to solve this, right? You have to find the interval for this. Okay, you have to solve this inequality. Yeah. So the very first step is what? The step one is done, right? Step two is also done, right? And step three you have to directly do, okay? Because here x coefficient is one, right? And uh, it is in factor form. Okay. So you can take these uh, roots. So how many roots are there? You see, this is minus six, okay, and uh, there is a zero, and there is uh, one, and there is four. Right? You don't have to worry about these powers, okay? You don't have to worry about these powers, okay? So now this is negative, right? This is negative. So don't think that we will start with negative, sir. Okay, sign. Okay, Akshat, you have to start with positive only, okay? You have to start with positive. So put the dots here, guys. First of all, dots. Why I'm putting dots? Because there is a flag inequality. So you have to choose dot here. If there is this kind of inequality, so take the circle always. Okay. अच्छा तो यो यो confusion is clear now. Please confirm one. हाँ. ठीक है अब देखो अब यू सी दिस फोर राइट द रूट ऑफ फोर बिलोंग्स टू एक्स माइनस फोर वट इज दट इज द पावर ऑफ एक्स हियर एक्स पावर विल बी टू राइट सो दैट द पावर ऑफ एक्स इज वट इवन द पावर ऑफ एक्स इज इवन सो नो साइन चेंज नो साइन चेंज सो दिस विल बी पॉजिटिव ओनली ठीक है नाउ यू गो वन One is here, right? The power of x is what, guys? Here, the sign change now. Sign will change. Okay. Sign is gonna be changing here. Next, you go to zero. So here, the sign is gonna be changing. Yes. Now again, you switch to minus six. Here, the sign will be changing because that is the power is odd here. Okay. Okay. So this will be minus. How many of you understood this sign? कितने लोग in invalid? Okay. In fact, these concepts will help you to solve your technical questions also. Okay. You see here. Now we want negative. Overall expression should be what? Overall expression should be negative. So we can reject directly, right? So this is not allowed. This is not allowed. Okay. What is allowed here is this is allowed. Okay. From minus six to minus infinity. 
and this is allowed ठीक है this is allowed okay yeah only two things are allowed okay two intervals ठीक है so please take down so what is the answer here now so the x belongs to minus infinity to minus six okay union zero and one okay okay now this four is not considered okay this four is not considered right this is ln so you can also write this as union of if something is not considered so you can put in the curly bracket okay okay this four is also you see here this four this four is there okay so you can take like this right so this is the situation let me take one more question so you will understand yeah yes yes it is clear okay so let me take one more question here try this question then i will solve suppose x plus 3 and x minus 7 is greater than 0 right so what is the answer for this question please try everyone sab log try kare is question ko uh this concept you see here uh this is very very important if you if there is a one number which is left out right so you have to take that number and you have to put in the set form right set form or you can say using using this curly bracket okay so you are also including this so this is going to be correct answer right because there is only one number which is left okay hmm. okay infinity minus 3 Seven. Okay. Let me solve this question. Hmm. So everything is okay this time, and now we have to take the help of minus three, and this is you know seven. Right. Now, what we have to do? We have to start with positive here, or else we can put circle. Okay, on top of that. right because circle will be there right there will be a circle only theek okay? hai now you start with positive okay so it will be negative here here will be positive understood now this should be positive overall expression should be positive so you can neglect uh, this interval theek okay? hai so you are starting with this theek okay? hai and you are going like this what is the answer for this question i believe now everyone might have got the answer minus infinity to minus 3 union of 7 to infinity and there should not be any closed uh, yeah there should not be any so x belongs to minus infinity to minus 3 union Seven. Okay, this is the answer for this question. Okay. Yes. Let me take one more question, guys, so that uh, your concept will become more uh, clear. In fact, you can eliminate the options also. Okay, just by looking at the expression and looking at the inequalities, right? Because inequalities will be given. so you can also remove because there will be only uh, open intervals right open interval so if any option is containing this kind of interval right so you can ignore them okay so suppose question is like this uh, you know 2 minus x and x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 so quickly quickly do this question So what we can do here is the step number one is factor. So it is clear. Step number two, okay. Step number two is very very important in this case because you have to make these x, this x, the coefficient of this x should be one. But here the coefficient of x is minus one. Yes, the coefficient of x is minus one. So what you have to do, you can take minus one common here. It becomes x minus two, okay, x minus five. 
and greater than zero. Okay. Now, if you are dividing by minus one, so this becomes x minus five, and the inequality sign will change. How many of you understood this step? Yeah. This is very very important step which you have to understand. You have to take care of, right? So your expression should be now. Your expression should be here, okay? Uh, x minus two, x minus five, okay? And which should be less than zero. Now you can draw the number line. So this is the uh, two, and this is five. Start with positive. So we are going to put dots here because dot is very very important, not the circle. Okay. Now this is positive here, so this should be negative because you know all the x has negative power, uh, odd powers. This should be positive. Hmm. So you have to make sure that the overall expression should be negative, not the positive. Okay, given question is okay, but uh, if you are solving this using uh, baby curve okay, method, then you have to choose this interval only. This is wrong. So the answer for this question will be x belongs to two and five. I believe many of you might have okay. Ashish gave the answer. Rupa, yeah, great guys. So. You will become more confident if you are able to solve this kind of a question. Okay. Perfect. So suppose you have got uh, next kind of a question. So suppose x x minus five less than six. Okay. So this kind of questions are given. Then how to solve this? Can somebody answer this question? Hmm. Try this question. Yes. What you have to do here is x x minus five. You have to take this six this side, right? Then you can make this x square minus five x minus six is less than zero. So this is just a quadratic equation, right? Okay. So you can solve this. You can find. You have to factorize. Okay. You have to factorize this. What is the factor of this? It will be x minus six and x plus one. Okay, this should be less than zero. Now it is very easy, right? So you have to first make it in polynomial form. Then you have to factorize. Then go for this. I think this should be very very simple. So this is minus, uh, you know, this is six and this is minus one. Starting with positive, negative, positive, and we have to focus only on negative. So this is, I think, minus one and six. Yes. So how many of you understood this minus? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Perfect, guys. X belongs to minus one and six. Correct. Right. Ah, uh, this time slightly different question. Okay, where you have to make the uh, coefficient of uh, x one. Right. X minus one is square. X minus four. Okay, which is less than zero. Hmm. The very first method is what? The very first method is you have to make this. You have to take three common so x plus two by three. Okay. You have to make the coefficient of x one. Okay. This is the situation. You can forget about this three now. Okay. Okay. Minus two by three. This is one. This is four. Right. And put the circle here, not the dot. Okay. Start with positive. This is negative. Negative only. Then you are you are going from uh, via this minus two by three. Okay, so it will be positive. Right? I believe now it is okay. So it should be negative. So you have to take this. And you have to take this also. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. So what is the answer here? So what you can do here is you can make you can write like this also. Okay, so x belongs to minus two by three and one u one and four, or you can write this as minus two by three. Okay, minus two by three, and directly you can write four minus this set one. Right, you can forget this one. So that is common, right? So you can just take one because this is coming here. So you don't have to take this, okay? okay? If you are taking intersection, so you can just my put minus sign and you are removing this minus uh, one from this, okay? Understood? Great guys, great. <laughs> Needless to worry about that, okay? So degree of one is what? Degree of uh, you see this degree has uh, the you know. Okay, so please take care of that. Hmm. So, okay, Rupa, you understood this now? Because you have to check the power of x always, right? X, the power of x here is two. See, x minus one whole square means x square will come definitely. X square will come. Okay. Now. Now we will take uh, the rational inequalities. Okay, so let me take some other kind of a concepts, right? Which are rational inequalities. Okay, so let's see how we are going to tackle them. Okay, so the, now the topic name is write down rational inequalities. What is the meaning of rational? That is c by q form. Okay. That is c by q form. Perfect. So the 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 format will be like this. Okay. So the question will be like uh, they will ask solve for x, and they will give this kind of inequality: x minus one, x plus five, and then x x plus two greater than zero. Okay, so you have to find the value of x. I mean, you have to solve the this inequality. Okay, so what you have to do then? The step number one is done. Okay, you have to use here again the wavy curve method only. The step number one is clear. Okay, because that is uh, there is a factor, right? So step number one is okay. Step number two is also okay because you see all the x has the coefficient one, right? Now step number three directly switch to step number three. Many people cross multiply and they waste their time, right? So don't do that. This is minus five, minus two, and this is zero and this is one. What will be the difference here is, you know, this x should not be equal to zero, right? Do you know that x should not be equal to zero? Otherwise, this entire expression will not be defined. Okay, so here we have to put circle. Here we have to put circle, okay. On top of zero, here you have to put circle, okay. The root which belongs from the denominator of this expression, right? So here we have to put circle. That is very very important to understand, okay. And here we have to put dot. Here we have to put dot. I believe this is fine for everyone, okay. So what you have to keep in mind? See, if you will put x equal to zero, then this Expression is not defined. Okay, expression is not defined. This expression is not defined. Keep in mind that. Okay, so never put uh, dot here. Okay, don't include minus two and zero. Okay, in the in the inequality. Okay, this is this is only the concept here. That's it. Now use plus and uh, This is minus here, okay, and this will be plus. This is minus. This is plus. Okay. I believe this is fine for everyone. Okay. Now, what you have to do? 
what what do you want exactly is you want positive here right so don't choose uh, this so this is going to be the picture i believe anyone can answer now so it is minus infinity to minus 5 5 is included union minus 2 to 0 they are not included right minus 2 and 0 are not included but the number which is in between are included and this is 1 is included and this is infinity i believe this is fine for everyone so see if you are solving the rational inequality so keep in mind this okay whatever concept we have discussed for polynomial and that is valid for ratio of polynomial as well okay yeah. yes to be yeah tell me are you asking something bataiye and for odd you have to change right so you see here i started with positive right now you see this root x uh, sorry root 1 right so one is this okay we are getting one from this okay so what is the uh, power of x one so odd power is there right so sign change is there in fact you can uh, see from your naked eyes right all the power of x has the odd powers only so blindly you can put plus minus plus minus plus minus right so if you are starting okay. with plus this is minus this is plus this is minus this what is there right okay so somewhere okay. yeah yeah go ahead yeah yeah i got it i got it i got it see if you have understood this now then your life is very simple right any question you can do that and this big big problem are now the cake walk okay perfect so anybody has doubt this kind of a doubt guys anybody they can also uh, ask to me yeah this time uh, the question is from the rational inequality only x to the power of 4 minus 3x cube Okay, plus 2x square by x square minus x minus 30 should be greater than zero, right? This is the question, right? So you have to solve for x. Okay, solution uh, set of inequality you have to find. Hmm. Tell me. So how can you start with this? Okay, you have to factorize first, right? So you can take x square common from top uh, from the numerator, so it is uh, x square minus 3x plus 2 upon x square minus x minus 30. Okay, this is your first step here, and then you have to factorize this, right? So how to factorize this? You know, you can factorize. I believe anyone can factorize. So needless to worry about this x square, right? It will only help you to have the sign change. That's it. Okay. So it is x minus 1 and x minus 2. And x square minus x, and this is I think uh, five and six you can take because thirty. You know how to uh, find the factors, right? Uh, splitting the middle term. Okay, yeah. So x minus six, and this is x minus five, x plus five. Okay. Now job is done. Okay, half of the job is done now. Okay, you don't have to worry about now anything. Just go use the number line. And you can directly answer the question right so this is ha huh. one more thing you have to keep in mind here while solving the rational inequality never put uh, never put a dot on top of these roots okay the roots of the denominator okay that is very very important to uh, you know keep in mind so this is zero here this is one this is two and this is six and this is minus five this time only one negative root is there ha huh. start with this or else first put circle and dot so your life will be more easy right so my sabse pehle denominator roots so this is circle uh, you know open hmm. now start with this so there there is a dot there is a dot there is a dot yeah it is slightly bigger but yeah you can answer this yeah now what you can do here is you can start with positive positive this okay then it is negative here see the power of x is 1 now the power of x is again 1 so this is positive or yeah this is negative and this time you have to be careful because there is a power 2 that is so it will be same only right 
again you come here so yeah this is positive see what you want is guys you want positive only so just forget about these okay you can take this from here to here from here to here and then you can take this i believe now it is clear okay how many of you understood this question so answer will be minus infinity minus 5 union 1 2 okay union 6 and infinity okay and one more thing you have to take care is this zero because this is alone okay so you can put uh, in the in the set form right this is the answer great 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 okay so you have to put also zero okay because that is alone now so don't leave anybody alone okay in the in the school or in the college right suppose everyone everybody got placed right in iit or iit bombay wherever you will go and uh, one guy is there so take him also right so that he will also get placed as a nahi ki okay so how many of you understood these ratios for the sake of uh, making you clear x minus 4 to the power 2013 2013 you can say and this is x plus 8 to the power 2014 and x plus 1 so x to the power 2016 x minus 2 x x plus 3 to the power 5 x minus 6 x plus 9 to the power 2012 and less than 0 so i believe you can solve this question so i i should not uh, See, you should not get scared with the powers. Okay, after all, you have to determine whether they are the positive, uh, even power or odd power. That's it. So use the the wavy curve method, and you can. Okay, so what you have to find here is you have to find the number of positive integral values. What is the question here? Number of positive integral. Okay, integral values. of x satisfying the inequality okay so you can try this question right the options are you know zero option b one option c two uh, option d three right you can try this question okay later uh rupa is asking if you add zero in the last question it is making whole equation negative so zero cannot be added see what i am doing is i am just putting the family okay just because this is zero here now okay so just put zero here in the set form right okay just take this okay i am not saying that you are going to put zero here okay that is also the part of family that's it so that's why i am using the set here theek okay. hai yes okay so please try this question guys you can take this screenshot and you can try this uh, tell me the answer later or or else you can just practice now oh three positive okay great so i i believe many of you are yes so let's understand some of the important concept guys okay important concept okay, related to um, you know quadratic equation only we will see quadratic equation in detail okay but uh, for the moment just see 
so remember whenever okay whenever you can say uh, my quadratic equation looks like this a x square plus b x plus c okay this is the quadratic polynomial you can say or quadratic equation right so from the quadratic equation always we see this uh, the coefficient of x square okay if the so a is greater than 0 and d what is d here d is basically the discriminant okay that is b square minus 4ac okay this is how we calculate d right so for the present just accept this okay if a is greater than 0 and d is less than 0 okay then the quadratic equation will be always positive but it will be always positive this is always true right and if a is less than 0 and d is less than 0 then your your qe that is quadratic equation will be always negative okay that is always negative i hope you are understanding why i want to tell this okay because whenever rational inequalities are given and in the denominator this polynomial is present right so so that you can also if this is positive so you can take the cross multiplication theek okay? hai so please note down this concept okay this is very very important concept so always see this uh, the coefficient of a right if it is positive and the discriminant is positive and uh, negative right then quadratic equation is going to be positive always theek okay? hai so we can take one example here so the example here is suppose minus x square plus x plus sorry x minus 1 okay if somebody will ask what is this so this will be negative not always negative why because the coefficient of x x square is what coefficient of x square is okay please take down this somebody will ask example we can take example number 2 x square plus x plus 1 right this is always positive so you can blindly say that it will be always positive okay note down these small small concepts they are very very important So I, I told already everything, okay? and you can find the discriminant also that is b square minus 4ac. Okay? So let me take the question here based on this concept. Okay, the question here is suppose the ratio of quadratic equation is given that is x square minus 5x plus 12 upon x square minus 4x plus 5 is greater than 3. So what you will do? You always try to do what factor and all, right? But here this question can be done, okay? Uh, just by making cross multiplication also sometimes, okay? So what you have to check here is you have to check whether uh, this denominator is positive or not. If this denominator is positive, then you can take, then you can take what? You can take the cross multiplication you can do the cross multiplication otherwise don't do cross multiplication right so yeah it is always positive you check this here a is greater than 0 and d is less than 0 okay so you can do the cross multiplication directly so it is x square minus 5x plus 12 3x square minus 12x Plus 15. Okay. Now, this is very simple. Okay. So what you can do here is you can solve this. So you will get uh, uh, 2x square minus 7x plus 3, okay, which is less than zero. Okay. You will get this. Understand? So I believe now you can solve this. So you just uh, just you know. You can factorize this. So, what is the factor here? What is the factor of this? The factor of this is 2x minus 1 and x minus 3. Okay. 
change the factor and put in the form of this i believe many of you might have got the answer also so this is uh, basically you have to make you know the coefficient one so this will be 1 by 2 okay and this is 3 start with positive okay start with positive and there is a flag strict inequality right so put the circle here and this is negative this is positive and now you can write it is very simple okay so it will be minus 1 the answer will be what x belongs to 1 by 2 and 3 okay Kartike is saying because you have to take only this part. Next question. Notice this question, everyone. Please tell me. Yes, uh, Kartike is yes, great. Digo, you have to be careful, right? Don't be in hurry. This uh, question ko karna everybody try this question, right? So this is x square minus 5x plus 6. x square plus x plus 1. Hmm. I think anyone can do this problem very quickly this time because this this side is zero here, right? So this will be always positive. So forget about denominator now. Just factorize this. X square minus five x plus six is greater than okay. So I believe x minus two and this is x minus three. Use the number line. Okay, put the circle, start with positive, negative, positive, should be strictly negative, right? So, this is the answer. Great. So, I hope everybody understood. Uh, you have to find the domain of the definition of our f of x, right? It's given as. 3y 4 minus x square plus log of base 10 x cube minus x. You have to find the uh, domain of this, okay? And the options will be given like this, okay? Options are given 1 and 2. Option B is given minus 1 and 0, 1, 2. Option C is given 1, 2, union 2, infinity. And option D is given minus one zero one two. Yeah. Two infinity. So you have to find the domain of this. This is the first question, right? What is the meaning of domain? Can somebody tell me what is the meaning of domain? Okay, you can try this question, right? But you, you should understand how to find the domain. Okay, just I will breathe. Okay. So suppose you have got uh, the suppose you will get the expression like this, like numerator is there and denominator is there, right? So how to find the domain? Domain can be find out, just don't put the denominator equal to zero. This is very important to understand, okay? In order to de determine the domain, don't put denominator, okay? Your denominator should not be equal to zero in this case, okay? This is first. Second, suppose some, some function is coming inside the, you know, under root. Then this, this, okay, you can say this byte, 
okay this should be greater than always greater greater than or equal to 0 okay then you can find the domain like suppose you have got fx equal to under root x minus 1 so what you have to do simply you have to take x minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 0 and you can tell the domain right and the third which you will get uh, is like uh, log of something right log of base a and there will be something okay so what you know you know the property now what kind of property you know guys you know that this should be equal to always positive right this should be positive not equal to zero in fact okay this should be positive log of something so that something should be always positive okay and okay this is i believe this is fine for everyone yeah so these are the few points which you have to keep in mind okay and suppose you have got the sign inverse right uh, sign inverse of something or you can say cos inverse of something this something should be always you know lying between what minus 1 and 1 right then only you can find the domain right so this is very very important to remember okay and there are many more concepts but most of the time you will get this kind okay from the trigonometry or from this format and or from under root something or log of that in this question you see what are the thing uh, present you see this is the numerator by denominator form right okay so how to find the domain so you see this is 4 minus x square should be always i mean should not be equal to 0 okay so okay so how can you write this now this can be written as x should not be equal to minus 2 or plus 2 okay you see in the questions okay yeah in the options you see x is uh, not equal to plus minus okay there is no close bracket okay there is no close bracket there are open bracket only means x belongs to the real number okay x belongs to real number entire real number but we are removing these minus 2 and 2 right we are removing these minus 2 and 2 this is very important to remember okay for this part of this part of this expression and what is the part of this you have to make sure this should be positive right so x cube minus x should be positive or you can say is strictly positive okay okay so let me uh, take that just i'm taking this uh, expression from here to some other page So this x x cube minus x, okay. So you can say that this x cube minus x should be strictly positive. Means you can take x x common here. So x common, so it is x square minus one. So this is x minus one, and this is x plus one. How to solve this? How to solve this? Baby come method. I believe many of might many of you might have got the answer right. So, but let me try one zero minus one. Starting with positive, this is gonna be negative. This is positive. This is negative. Yeah. Now, I'm just putting circle here. Okay. So, what we want is positive only. So, this should be okay in this direction. I'm not gonna take negative. Okay. And this should be included here. You got this, okay? So, but what you have to find here is you have to find the what you have to find the union of this, right? Because uh, it has different inequality. You know, you have seen it has different, uh, uh, you know, this, okay? And it has so what is the meaning of this? You have to choose minus two and two, okay? So entire region. Okay, but minus 2 and 2. So let me draw that. Okay. So this is the number line for final answer. I'm just going to put minus 2, minus 1, 0, 
वन एंड टू ठीक है ओके सो ऑन टॉप ऑफ टू देर शुड बी सर्कल ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट देर शुड बी सर्कल ओके सो इंटायर दिस इज द सिचुएशन इ entire real line but this is not included and for this this is included here right so you put here this is okay yes so this is what the common point is right this is the common point okay where the answer will be so you can say minus 1 to 0 right minus 1 to 0 union One and two, union, two and infinity. Okay. Ah, uh, this will be also here. No? So this is. Sorry, this is uh, from here to here. This is. Okay, but you have to always find the uh, intersection of this. So this is the intersection. This is the intersection. so this is the answer for this question how many of you understood oh yeah okay wait wait i i will repeat let me explain again okay let me take again this question directly and i will solve quickly okay so how many of you understood first of all tell me manjri i will explain again don't worry dekho what you have to do as i told you that let me take the question here this is a question theek okay? hai there are two parts okay one part is this one part is this so try to solve part wise okay so this is numerator by denominator so what i have told you that that this denominator should not be equal to zero right 4 minus x square should not be equal to zero what is the meaning of this from here you can say that x should not be equal to plus minus 2 theek okay? hai this is done okay so you can say that the x belongs to what entire real line okay minus these numbers these numbers are not included right okay this is for this okay and this domain belongs to this okay now come to log okay log is very special okay so log is very special means what you see log i have told you while teaching log okay you know the this this should not be equal to what this should not be equal to uh, you know this should not be equal to zero in fact this should not be negative also log of negative number is not defined okay so this x square x sorry x cube minus x should be always greater than zero so you can take x common here so this is x square minus 1 greater than zero okay now you know that x square okay you have you know that you have to factorize this okay i think thangar uh, okay thangar muttu you are saying that uh, x square minus 1 right but you have to factorize now that is very important step theek hai while applying the uh, yeah heavy come method so you will practice again two three times so this is uh, cake walk okay so x x minus 1 theek hai x plus 1 should be greater than 0 okay then what is going to happen you can draw the line okay you can draw the line and you can also include this point also so just everything you can include no problem so just i'm going to put here minus 2 uh, minus 1 0 1 and 2 but on top of that 2 is uh, you know circle 2 is having circle and but it includes a bit entire line you see the entire line see yeah. but 2 is not included and uh, then you see this for this you know uh, there should be a uh, circle here there should be circle here there should be circle here okay and you have to choose this positive then this is going to be negative this is positive sorry 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 yeah you have you don't have to take this minus 2 uh, and plus 2 at this moment because otherwise you will get confused right so you can take uh, only this okay so that this is 0 this is 1 this is minus 1 okay because we are talking solving uh, for this expression so this is positive so this is negative this is positive this is negative 
ठीक है वी वॉन्ट पॉजिटिव ऑनली तो वी डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग जस्ट टेक दिस नाउ यू हैव गॉट दी यू हैव गॉट दी डोमेन फॉर ईच पार्ट राइट नाउ वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन ड्रॉ द सिंगल रियल लाइन ओके यू कैन ड्रॉ द सिंगल रियल लाइन एंड फाइंड द इंटरसेक्शन ओके फाइंड द इंटरसेक्शन so you have to find the intersection here so minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 so first draw for first one that is this entire real line okay and then you you just take this okay so there is uh, now forget about signs and all because now you know this okay and from here it is start but where is the intersection intersection is here and intersection start from after 2 okay not from the minus okay not from 1 okay so you can write now this okay so it will be minus 1 and 0 intersection of 1 and 2 okay 1 and 2 okay why i am writing 1 and 2 because this and this okay 1 and 2 and then intersection Okay, so this is also coming, you see, yeah. and this will be two to infinity. This is the answer. Okay, so it seems slightly difficult, but yeah, you can go through again and you can understand. Everybody, please tell me. Don't worry, easy question will be asked in the gate. Gate में बहुत सारे log in equality. Okay, so we know that the very first case we will take here, the case number one in case of log. We have to take always the base should be greater than one. The base should be always greater than one, right? Suppose we have got y equal to log of x base a. So this a should be greater than one always, right? This a should be greater than one. Understood? So this is very very important to remember, and it plot. If you will plot this, okay? so this will be having you know suppose x has different values right so in this case what you can say what you, what kind of comment you have to do the number one should be x should be greater than 0 and number second is a should be greater than 1 these two points you have to make sure so for this the plot is going to be like this okay suppose there is x1 and there is x2 for x1 there will be log x1 base a so whatever value of x you will put here okay x should be greater than always 0 so you will get the positive okay positive of that and this is log of x2 right base a so you see here which one is greater okay if x2 is greater if x2 is greater right then your log of x2 will be greater right if x1 is this okay so you can imagine like this suppose x1 is greater than x2 right in this case this in this case what will happen or you can say x2 is greater than x1 this is wrong if x2 is greater than x uh, sorry greater than x1 so you can take the log log of x2 is greater than log of x1 your inequality sign will not change remember okay your inequality sign will not change if you are taking log both the side but suppose this base will be you know less than 0 then what will happen or you can say not less than 0 it will be less than 1 okay so we'll take the next case okay this is very very important so suppose log uh, the case number 2 you will find is that suppose your base is lying between 0 and 1 okay it is greater than 0 but less than 1 so your plot will become like this your plot will become like this okay okay so there there is you can say this is x1 and this is x2 this time what is happening is log x1 and this is 
log x2 okay so whenever the base is greater than 1 okay so these 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 points you have to make sure right these points x should be greater than 0 and a should be uh, a should be what and a should not be equal to 1 also you have to make sure a should not be equal to 1 right so this is strict inequality right now you see here in this case when base is less than 1 not equal to one i'm saying it is base okay so what is happening here is that whenever uh, you are increasing the value here right so this this is decreasing more okay this is decreasing so always keep this in mind right this is very very important so in this case suppose x1 is greater than x2 theek okay? hai so whenever you will take the log of x1 and log of x2 so inequality will change or not can somebody tell me inequality will change in this case inequality will change in this case what will be the inequality here sorry suppose this is x2 one minute suppose x2 is greater than x1 please and you are taking log both the side okay now tell me what kind of inequality will be there yes very good very good yes so it will be this so this is what i wanted to tell okay so if you remember these concept you can solve any question right what is the concept here is that the concept you can note now the concept is If the base is greater than one, okay. If the base is greater than one, then inequality will be same. Okay. You don't have to worry about the inequality. Okay. And if the base is lying between zero and one, so you have to change the inequality. this is very very important concepts <coughs> i believe this is fine for everyone so let me take the question here then you will understand so noted this these points everybody sab log note kar liye na i i'll just take few question not many question so solve for x log x base 3 you have to solve this quickly hmm. what is the value of x here i mean you have to solve this in equality right so you can write this as you can write this as okay so suppose x equal to 3 raised to the power 4 is given right okay. so you can you can do like 3 raised to the power you know 4 but what will be the inequality here can somebody tell me what will be the inequality inequality is going to be same okay why inequality is going to be same because the base is see this is greater than 1 okay so this is going to be the situation so x is 3 raised to power 4 means what 3 raised to power 4 means 81 isko kaise likhenge x belongs to minus infinity to 81 Yes. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Yeah, quickly. Uh, quickly note down, guys. I wrote this. Was x is less than? Okay. Is it correct? For The value of x can be take from this. Please think about this. That's why I stop here. Yeah, because here the negative values are also included, right? Like you can say, 
minus 1 minus 2 okay minus 3 and so on so this is not correct okay so what is the answer here final answer is 0 and 180 okay this is the answer don't put minus infinity to 81 in the option it will be present okay so never take that so its answer is going to be what its answer will be x belongs to 0 and 81 where 0 is not included 81 is not included okay please note down this because we know that log has always the domain which is positive Please note down. Let me take one more question. Noted? Can we go ahead and take one more question? Yes, please uh, allow me to go. Yes, great. So take this question. Solve for x. See these very easy questions. Take it. Log 1 by 2 minus 1. So this is log 1 by 2 x greater than minus 1 right. You see here guys, you see what is the base here? Base here is 1 by 2 which is less than 1. If you are going to switch, you know, if you are going to take uh, this 1 by 2 that side. So this interval, this, this inequality will change now, right. So you have to be very, very careful, right. So of all the, so in log you have to be where careful about what you have to solve for inequality and you have to also see the domain for the log okay. this is very very important to remember okay while solving or while dealing the you know while dealing the problem associated with okay so here the base is less than 1 right so x will be less than 1 by 2 to the power of minus 1 x is less than 2. Okay. Now the domain should be what? Domain as we know that domain should be always greater than 0. Okay. okay. So what will be the answer here? So x less than 2 and domain is x greater than 0. Right? So you have to draw now number line and take the intersection. So minus infinity to infinity. If you are not understanding the fact. So there is 0 and there is 2. And there is a this and how to find domain correctly. Like this. What is the intersection here? Intersection is this. X belongs to 0 and 2. Yeah, yeah, so be yes, correct. Bracket me that now, okay? Don't put like this. Chalo. La, okay. This question. One by three. Five x minus one. Return zero. Solve kare fast. So the options given. Okay, needless to find the options, just find the answer directly, right? So here also you have to do two things, right? You have to solve for inequality and you have to find the domain also. Domain is going to be what? 5x minus 1 will be greater than 0, right? So x will be greater than 1 by 5. Okay. And in this case, 5x minus 1 will change the domain, right? Okay, we'll change this inequality because here the greater is there, now it will be lesser. Okay. okay. I believe everybody is okay with this. Okay. Many people make mistake here. Hmm. what happens here tell me that is 
can choose it right so it is very simple that is 2 by 5 and 1 by 5 or 1 by 5 2 by 5 whatever you want to write here yes 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 correct correct 1 by 5 2 by 5 yeah so i hope now you understood this so log related question you can solve Note down solving for modulus inequality, right? Modulus. This is very, very important, right? So, what is modulus basically? You know, okay, what is mod? Mod is basically like this something will be there, right? it will get something right so some constant will be written right suppose x minus 3 is there and they have given 2 right? you can write this as x minus 3 equal to plus minus 2 okay x equal to what 3 plus minus 2 so x will be having two values 5 and 1 okay this is what the mod is right mod equation okay that you have to keep in mind so the first kind of modulus inequality we will discuss here is so x minus 3 is greater than 2 okay. this is what the mod inequality so what is concept here is that the concept here will be you have to use the concept okay what concept you are going to use suppose something is written inside the mod okay this is greater than k okay what you can do you can take something and which is less than minus 1 or something greater than k and what is the meaning of or or meaning here is union this is very very important to remember okay Now, you take this and in case of second, uh, suppose second kind of concept you have to remember, suppose something is written inside the mod which is less than k, okay. you can write this like this, okay, something between minus k and k, you are taking intersection, okay, whenever less than is given, okay, Achha, 2 and 5, yeah, let's see what is there. So, this is the situation like something is, uh, you know, greater than 2. Okay. So, what you can do is, you can take two pictures here. One will be x minus 3 less than minus 2. And one will be x minus 3 greater than 2. Okay. Or, so this is x less than 1 or x greater than 5 okay. you can say that this is x belongs to minus infinity and 1 union of that 5 to infinity this is the answer okay. I believe this is fine for everyone okay so please remember these concepts right this is very important concept okay jab less than hoga then it is less than so put in between that it minus k and k when it is greater than k so take once it is less than minus k and once it is greater than take the union of that okay next one more question i will do based on this so that your concept is clear 
Suppose you have to find the in uh, you know solve the inequality. So three x upon x square minus four is less than one. Now what you have to do? It is less than right. So this concept belongs from this something less than k. So what you have to do? You can take minus k here, k here. If there is a strict Inequality, so take a strict one, right? So this is the very easy now. 3xy x square minus 4, 1 minus 1. Okay. Now you can solve, you can solve this, and you can solve this, and take the intersection. Yeah, I believe everyone understanding this point. Okay, so the very first step is this. Okay. And then solve for, okay. And then take the common. Okay. So in this case, you have to take what union, and in this case, you have to take intersection. Your road map is clear, okay. So solve for this. I have told you how to solve for this, right? So you can solve for this. Okay. Solve. Okay. Solve. Solve and take the intersection. Okay. So we can take first p x upon x square. Minus four, and this is three x upon x square minus four. One of the biggest blunder people do is they do cross multiplication. That is very big mistake. Okay, never do cross multiplication. Okay, why? Because you can't make sure that this is positive, right? So you can take this minus on that side. Okay, so this becomes three x minus x square minus four. Actually. The very first thought comes is cross multiplication, right? But don't do that, okay? I believe this is fine for everyone. So this is three x plus x square minus four, okay? Upon x square minus four. So you can write this as x square plus three x minus four by. Minus four greater than zero. Okay, now you can solve this using baby car. I'm not going to solve this, right? And for this also, don't cross multiply. Okay, don't life make two mistakes. You don't have to uh, commit. One is this, and one is I will tell later. Okay. After the gate, so these are the important points. So I believe you can solve this also. So I'm not going to solve this. Hmm? Use the wavy cum method and uh, answer it. Okay. Yeah. How many of you understood this concept? Can you explain left side again? Acha, ठीक है. See, this is not very tough, right? So you see here, there is a greater. Okay, the inequality which is greater than something, right? So you can do. Okay, you can make. Uh, you can compare, right? X minus three is less than or equal to minus two. Okay, and okay, and it is greater than two, right? If you will make this negative, okay. Why I am doing like this? Because if you make this negative, right? So then this inequality sign will change, right? So you think like that, okay? So X minus three is less than. Minus two, 
you remember this concept which i written if something is greater than k so you have to put here which is something is less than minus k and something greater than k and solve it okay understood and then you put uh, uh, on the line right so you will get this how many of you understood this okay manji So there it will be minus one. So कहाँ पर यार? Okay, you are talking about this. X minus three is less than minus two, so it is X minus two plus three. X one. What you are talking? This. Why it will be minus one? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, late is better than never. Okay, to realize, understand. Hello. So guys, please uh, understand these points. These are very very important points. Okay. And now you have to solve many questions. Okay. These things I wanted to teach today. And. Uh, still we have 3 uh, 4 minutes okay so what we can do here is we can just recap okay what we can recap uh, quadratic equation okay? or any function remember okay so just we will recap the quadratic equation basically and uh, in the next session only we will recap some function right then we will solve problem as well okay yeah. so i believe everybody understood okay see there are many things still pending but you know that room was not uh, in quadratic equation the degree is going to be what your quadratic equation will be of the form this ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a should not be equal to 0 this is very important definition and it will be having two roots the value of x is basically known as roots okay so the two roots will be you can say alpha and beta right this is what the quadratic equation is right and this is very important the quadratic equation has only two roots always right always i'm telling always why because there is a degree 2 these things are very very important okay so how to find the roots of the equation okay from the child root we have seen that you know ax square plus bx Plus c equal to zero if it is written. So, uh, what our bachpan or you can say child root says that we use this formula that is minus b plus minus under root b square minus four ac by two a, right? Okay. So this d equal to what b square minus four ac. Okay. This is known as discriminant of the quadratic equation. Okay. Discriminant. of the quadratic equation that you have to keep in mind okay and already i have told you many things right so we we must know the relation between roots and the coefficients okay so this is also very important relation between roots and the co coefficients okay uh, so suppose we have got uh, the roots are like alpha and beta okay alpha and beta are the roots right and the equation uh, and the coefficients are like a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 so there are a b c are the coefficients right so you can say that the sum of roots sum of roots alpha plus beta is going to be minus b by a okay and uh, product of roots alpha by alpha into beta is c by a and if you take alpha minus beta right, so you can always use this concept that is somebody is asking what is alpha minus beta right so we get confused how to find this so what you can do alpha minus beta is going to be the discriminant upon mod of a okay okay 
I believe this is fine. How to find these things? You know, you know that that suppose alpha plus beta. If you want to find, so alpha you can just take minus b plus under root something, and then okay, so you will get. So these are the things which you can prove also. Okay, so please keep in mind this is new for everybody. You know, alpha minus beta equal to under root d. Okay. And some transformation also you have to remember. Okay, some transformation in terms of alpha and beta. Okay. Some transformation in terms of alpha and beta. Okay. Your basic things are which you want to know, like alpha square plus beta square. If they are asking, what is this? You can say alpha beta whole square. Minus two alpha beta, right? So you know that alpha plus beta, you know that is minus b by a alpha beta c by a, right? And the second uh, which you have to keep in mind is suppose alpha cube plus beta cube they are asking in the exam. You can directly write this as alpha plus beta cube. You have to write in terms of uh, known okay concept alpha beta into alpha plus beta. Right? So everything you know here, okay. Suppose they are asking alpha minus beta whole square. So you know this also. Alpha plus beta, you know, whole square minus four alpha beta. Okay. This is third. And the fourth one, alpha to the power four, beta to the power four. Okay. So you can write this as alpha square plus beta square, a whole square. Minus two alpha square beta square. Okay, you can also identify the pattern and you write. Okay, you see here there is alpha and there is beta. So we are putting alpha beta. Okay, if there is alpha square, there is a beta square. We are putting alpha square beta square. Okay, in this case, understood. So these are the pattern which you have to identify. I believe this is fine for everyone. So with this you can solve various problem. Okay, if you know these relations, so these are enough. Okay, these are enough to remember. Okay, and for the gate exam these are enough. Okay, so how to remember this? If there is alpha square plus beta square, so alpha beta whole square minus two times of alpha beta. Alpha to the power four. So this is for even power of alpha beta. Okay. So with this, I will wind up the session here, guys. Okay, and we'll meet on Saturday and discuss some of the new concepts. Thank you for today. सबको समझ आया ना आज? Everybody.